Welcome to phase five of Germania Park in Mankato, Minnesota. This isn't a normal pipe laying job. Under this street is solid limestone, rock that doesn't give. There's no digging around it. You break through it or you don't move it. This is phase five, the final push at Germania Park. Hope Iron moves the earth. Welcome to Germania Park. Phase five is underway and the crews have been at it for about two weeks. This final stretch of underground work covers nearly 1,000 feet of pipe. A new water main and a new sanitary sewer running straight through solid rock. That's what makes this project different from most others. While most pipe laying jobs only require digging through dirt and clay to reach grade, this project has crews breaking through solid limestone. To tackle the rock, they've been running two NPK GH18 hydraulic hammer attachments on their excavators, machines built to fracture even the hardest stone. This is one of two jackhammers that we have on site. We also like to call it the pecker. They're helping break up the rock as we go down the street and put in the pipe. At Holtmeyer, we're lucky that they have big equipment and a lot of it. So we're able to have two peckers in one hole on site here to get down to the depth that we need to get the pipe in. The pecker, as crews call it, is a hydraulic hammer designed to chip away a solid rock. Mounted on the excavator, it uses hydraulic power to deliver repeated controlled strikes. The main parts include the hammer body, the chisel tip that makes contact with the rock, and the hydraulic lines that deliver the force from the excavator. So this jackhammer, you take it down, you put it on top of the rock, you put force down, there's an auxiliary button in the machine that you press that will hammer down and it breaks up the rock, making it able for our mainline digger to dig it out. This is considered stable rock, enabling us to not have to pull a trench box with us. It's stable, it's not going anywhere. It is literally hard as a rock. The crew works in sections, breaking up short stretches of limestone at a time so the excavator bucket can follow behind and remove the fractured rock before moving deeper. This step-by-step -step rhythm continues until the trench reaches grade, roughly 12 to 13 feet below the surface. As the crews continue breaking through the limestone, they also have to deal with the extra material coming out of the trench. Some of that material can be reused for backfill, but not all of it. The remaining broken rock is loaded into dump trucks and hauled to a dump site that just so happens to be located right next to the project. This material won't go to waste. It will eventually be crushed down and reused on future projects, making the most of what comes out of the ground. With the next section of trench cleaned out and the rock removed, the focus shifts to getting pipe in the ground. This phase of the work requires precision, coordination, and constant attention to safety as the crews continue moving down the street. This whole stretch is all virgin rock. There's never been pipe down it before. It's roughly a thousand feet of sewer and water main. We tie it on at about nine feet deep. We're at about 11 feet deep here. And where we set the final structure, we'll be at almost 16 feet deep. We get to run the sewer and water in the same ditch, which saves us time because jackhammering an extra trench for the water would add a lot of time to this project. The sewer goes in first. Once it's set to grade, the line is bedded and covered with rock and sand to lock it in place. A 
Above the sanitary sewer, crews then install the water main. With both lines in the ground, the trench is partially backfilled to secure the pipe. From there, the process resets, breaking apart more limestone, cleaning out the trench, and working back down to grade to prepare the next section of road. Up to this point, the crews have been working in solid, stable rock, but as the trench moves farther up the hill, conditions start to change. Up until this point, we didn't need the trench box to be in because it was stable rock all the way from the top, clear down to the bottom. As we proceed up this hill, the rock table is flattening up as the hill is going up. There is about three to three and a half feet of overburden. We're putting the box in because that overburden is sloughing off and falling in the ditch, and we're trying to keep our guys safe with the box. Once overburden is introduced, trench boxes become critical. They protect the crew inside the trench and allow the work to continue safely and efficiently, even as ground conditions change. With the trench secured and pipe going in, the crew continues moving forward, section by section, pushing this final phase closer to completion. Section by section, the crew repeated this process until all the sanitary sewer and water systems were in the ground. With nearly a thousand feet of pipe to lay, this phase was a real test of patience and execution. With the trench back filled and the site flattened, Germania Park is ready for the next step. Because of winter, paving will have to wait until spring, but the underground work is complete and the road is drivable. Every foot of pipe set straight through solid rock proves this crew gets the job done. Hope fire moves the earth.